Well, if it's Tuesday, and it is. It is. And if it's Christmas season, oh, and it is. It is. We're doing a, a collector's attic, a toy collector's attic, mm -hmm. and what better time of year to talk about toys than Christmas. Than Christmas. So, uh, Karen's got some nifty stuff. As, right. as we've shown in some shows, she collects kittles. Right. But these aren't exactly kittles, the ones we're well, looking at today. Kind of. We talked about these little jewelry kittles. I actually, you know, this is like the first one I ever had and fell madly in love with it. They can be worn as jewelry. They're just a little tiny doll about an inch high. And they're very detailed and very cute. Anyway, and we talked about Knock the knockoff off. kittles that came out. <laughs> you know, and they go for a fortune on eBay now. They're more than the actual The bootleg, jewelry. the knockoffs, because yeah. I think, you know, customs destroyed a bunch and blah blah blah. Anyway, they're rare and right. jewelry jewelry lily, that's my that's favorite. The, yeah, the knockoff. What is, what do these sell for? I, I don't know. I got I got hundred bucks or something. Something like this. Yeah. It would originally sold for fifty nine cents when the real jewelry kittle was like a dollar ninety eight or something. Yeah. So you can see they're Similar and, packaging. And now these on the collector's market are like 35, 50, right. 60, depends on the quality and so on. On a card mm -hmm. like this more. There's but bad. the knockoffs are well over a hundred dollars. Yeah, for some reason and they weren't as nice. They weren't as cute. They were lower quality. Well yeah, and but then they're, they're fall apart. cheap Taiwanese, you mm -hmm. know, but but that's what everybody wants now. Right. Oh well. Uh, Anyway, I happened to be on eBay one day looking for jewelry kittles, and I stumbled across a lady. What, one day? What one day? Every day. Every she's day. She's on there every day. Anyway, she's well, <laughs> still stumbled one, across. This was one particular day when I was looking for jewelry kittles, and I came across a lady who makes these little jewelry kittles. I'm like, what? Because I actually attempted to make a jewelry kittle when I was older out of sculpty clay because you couldn't find them. Well, there's one up there you made and exactly. it looks darn good. <laughs> but um, I couldn't figure out how to do it. And this lady, she's making them. She must have gotten a copy of a jewelry kittle and she's making them out of a soft plastic. And her name is Desiree Stratford and she is the owner of Green Plastic Camels. And I looked at hers at first, I'm going, no way. And finally, I just, I thought, I've got to get one. So the first one, and I've got a bunch of them. The first one that I got was this cute little one here. And I actually put her in a, a little glass plastic thing to keep her nice. But she's called A Night Out. There she is. There she is. Yes. And, and the detail, I mean, she makes these and she paints the little faces by hand. And she sells them for around about... 12 to 25 dollars on ebay and i can't but, fathom how she does that yeah it'd take me a week to make one of those it wouldn't look that nice no. and i'm not selling it for 12 bucks after considering she's hand painting all the little faces and everything and they're like an inch high yeah and, and so i've kind of gone all out I've, I've bought several from her and i've got them in various little glass domes and that to try to keep them just as nice as i can i i just can't imagine how she's done all this. This is one of my favorites here, this little gal here. Try to hold her by her hair, but she's got a little bathing suit. Ooh, there we are. There it is. She makes the bathing suits. They're not painted on. They're actually like string or cloth that she's put around the little doll. She all must work natural with fiber yeah. hair. Nothing's yeah. nothing's painted except the face details. Right. All the clothes are actual clothes. They're actual and clothes. It just yeah. I don't know how she does it. So this is Calamity Jittle right here. She's like the little kittle version that's uh, so darn cute. But she's made a little tiny version. She even has a cowboy hat. And I don't dare even touch the cowboy hat because it's so teeny I'll probably squash it. I love Calamity Jittle. <laughs> we got the real one over there, which is uh, a big one. It's about right. so tall. Right. And she was kind of paired up with Bunce and Bernie. Right. Those two kind of, they uh, cohabitated or something. Oh. Like anyway. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but she's done that, that one in just a teeny teeny and mm -hmm. so well done. And of course, uh, at our namesake here, we have an angel. That's really cool. That's neat. Yes. And you know, every little girl dreams about getting married. So here's a bride. And I've got her, of course, in a little plastic. I, I frequent Michael's. Now, there's a lot more to her with the braided hair. Was it mm -hmm. same price? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, this one was like $12. Wow, and yeah. it's all braided but, hair. and Yeah, I the know. hair, everything on it is just, check it out. It's just amazing, the it's little incredible. details. Just but incredible. one of the reasons I keep them in a little glass dome, I'm too afraid to even touch my big old fat fingers anymore. I used to play with these as a kid, but now I just we, drop them on the floor. We found these domes at, uh, at Michael's. Mm -hmm. uh, they're actually little clock domes for dollhouses. Right. So you could put your, you know, like a full-size dome, but it's mm -hmm. for a 12-scale dollhouse. So they're right. just perfect for these, just perfect. Exactly. Let's see. Mm. Here's another little fun one. She is Cinderella, and she is even missing a shoe. <laughs> but check out her hair, just the little bun and everything. Earrings, everything. Hand-painted face. You know, she's, she is just talented. Be, uh, there's no way I could do this. Yeah. Even when I was a kid and I had good dexterity, which I don't anymore. <laughs> but I now, tried. Now, I for tried. those of you who are in O scale, these would be perfect for O scale. You could populate your whole layout. You no, know, once in a while they show up on somebody's O scale layout too. They, I they have sneak, done that. <laughs> I sneak a few in. So They've done that. Steve, you better watch out. Here we come. And of course, not to be outdone, but there's also a mermaid. Imagine, I mean, it's even got, if you look in there, it's even got a little teeny tiny horse or a unicorn. unicorn. Not a unicorn. No, she is. No. Seahorse. It's seahorse. a seahorse, yeah. It's a seahorse. Man, I need to get some bifocals. Yeah, it's a seahorse. And look at the ringlets in mm -hmm. the hair and everything. And then another favorite of mine, the Wizard of Oz. And again, the entire Dorothy the scarecrow the tin man and the cowardly lion and they even come with the little axe the diploma and his badge of courage i mean it even looks like it has a little teeny tiny safety pin on that badge of courage yeah and if you look i mean you have to look with your jeweler's loop there's a little teensy tiny toto in a basket <laughs> <laughs> i mean we're talking not much bigger than a head of a pin here and she's got her ruby slippers on and everything. But this is probably my most favorite. I love The Wizard of Oz. And when she put that up, I ran for my wallet quickly. Very quickly, yeah. Yeah, they sold like hotcakes and then some. Thank goodness for digital money. Oh, just yeah. Push to buy it now. PayPal, yeah. PayPal, Zip. zap. <laughs> right, and then she does this uh, other, this like a glitter, oh, glitter that's urethane. That's one of my favorites. Um, she has a little tea A little belt. fairy, yeah. Yes. And I'll tell you what, if you think that's getting just teensy tiny, uh, she blew my mind. Well, these are the big ones. <laughs> these are the big ones, exactly. Um, she actually did a nativity. Now, remember, these things are at like an inch tall. And if you look, there's a little baby Jesus right there that's like half an inch or even less, a fourth of an inch. All painted. The little face and everything is all painted on it. And... Uh, the you know, nativity, yeah, just, I mean, it's Christmas, not, yeah. so we had to get the nativity. Absolutely. But more importantly, what? Yes. But it's just so well done. All this stuff is so well done. Little Christmas card doll. Little Christmas girl. Yeah. Just amazing. I can't believe the, the quality of work that she does. So if you get a chance, and you're on eBay, if you even just type in the search engine, Fan art kittles, and they will come up. She's putting a few up all the time here and there as soon as she makes a bunch. Or you can also put in green, uh, bleh, greenplasticcamels.com. I can't even talk straight green today. Green plastic camels. Green, don't say that fast five times. No, don't even say it fast <laughs> green once. Green plastic camels. Yeah. She also has uh, the garbage pail kids that she makes and a few other items. But man, oh man, what some talent. Wow, just yeah. am, just amazing. Amazing. Just amazing. Yep. So look her up. Yep. Send, send some business her way because she's a very talented girl. Well, if you haven't been over to the channel, do pop over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe because it helps us keep track of things and it helps Google keep track of things. And we oh. all know that that's what Google does is they keep track of things. So. That's their whole stock and trade is keeping track of things. Yes, they caught me even out mowing the grass with the Google They cart. did. <laughs> and they caught me getting out of the Mustang. So. <laughs> oh, that, those ah, Google. Google. <laughs> Google. Google that. 
At any rate, do pop over to the channel, binge watch and share everything while you're there because mm -hmm. that's, that's a good deal of fun. And uh, the easy way to become a subscriber is to click on the famous blue button. Are you ready for it? Zoing! Blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here on Sunday with the regular show. Merry Christmas! <laughs>